hope you're having a great day. I am very happy that the weather is finally starting to warm up and along with the season change, there tends to be a clothing trend change. So I figured for today's video, we could discuss some spring and summer trends. The first trend that I've been seeing going around is all white everything and honestly, I'm unsure about it. I like the idea and I probably have worn all white outfits in the past, but they are kind of hard to keep clean and it is also hard to find white pants that aren't see-through, but I am still on the lookout for those. I think all white outfits, they do look good and I think they look very clean and like sophisticated, but personally, I don't know if I'll be participating in this trend. Next trend is vibrant colors and if you know me, you know I love my colorful outfits so this is a huge yes from me. Bright and vibrant colors just scream summer to me and they just lighten up my mood when I wear them. So I'm definitely going to be participating in this trend this summer. Now, Y2K and butterflies. This type of style has been trending for a while now and I love Y2K style, but this particular butterfly top and like outfits with butterflies seem to be very popular as well. I think it's a very specific type of Y2K style, but I do like the butterfly. I think it can be challenging to find bigger sizes in like Y2K style of clothing, but I think if you can find them at thrift stores, good for you. I definitely love this trend. Now, crochet and knit clothing. I love when other people wear them. I just personally have not been able to find or make anything that I like for myself, but I do like the trend. I think it screams like spring and maybe like a picnic, but I do not own any. I do think it's really cute though, and I will be keeping my eye out for some pieces for the spring. This one is controversial and it is socks with sandals. And I am unapologetically yes on this one. I love socks with sandals. I feel like it's so much easier to accessorize and I feel like since you're wearing socks with other shoes, you should be able to wear them with sandals as well. That being said, I also think Crocs are cute. So maybe my shoe opinions differ from a lot of other people's, but I love them. I will be wearing my Crocs this spring and summer and sometimes I will be wearing socks with them. Next we have corsets and I do own one and I don't like it. I just don't like the way that it fits and looks on me. I just don't like them for me, but I think other people look incredible in corsets. I think corsets kind of scream Bridgerton and I love that show. So I would love to feel like a character from there, but I just haven't been able to find one that I like and I don't know if I'm gonna keep looking. Colored sunglasses. I love colored sunglasses. I thrifted a pair of blue tinted glasses last summer and they were by far my most worn pair of sunglasses all summer. So I definitely love this trend and if I can find myself more that are similar, I will be doing that. I think it's so easy to fit into your outfit. Like if you've got pops of blue in your outfit already, I have blue glasses, so you pop those on and you look very cute. Or if you've got like a more minimalistic outfit, adding a pop of color in your sunglasses makes it a much more interesting outfit. Now for this trend, you either love it or you hate it, I feel like, and I hate low rise jeans. They're just not comfortable for me and I don't like the way I look in them. I do love the low rise aesthetic cause it again follows like the Y2K style, but just not for me. Another trend I'm gonna have to pass on is trench coats. I feel like long coats like this just make me look even shorter and I already don't love jackets as it is and if I didn't have to ever wear one, I probably wouldn't. So I'm definitely not going to be wearing a jacket when it's warm outside. I do think that they look pretty and like sophisticated. And I feel like if your style is more like streetwear, I think a trench coat is perfect for you, but it doesn't really fit my closet. Now, slip dresses. I have tried so hard to find one in the thrift store that like fits me and I like the way that it looks on me, but I just haven't yet. I think they look so elegant and I love dresses, just any dresses really, because it's just so easy to throw on. Now you've got an outfit and I think they're really cute, especially for the summertime. I will be looking for these some more because again, I do think they're really, really cute. Now for sheer, um, I want to like it, 
but every time that I find anything that's sheer, it's like really itchy and uncomfortable and I just, I don't know about that. I think it looks good on other people. Like when I see celebrities wearing it, I'm like, oh, that's really cute. But I just feel like it's not practical for my everyday life. On to a trend I adore, micro and mini skirts. I own one micro skirt and then like a bunch of mini skirts and I just, I love them. I particularly love when they have shorts underneath because then you don't have to worry about flashing anyone and you're like really comfortable. I think short skirts are perfect for the spring and summertime, especially when it's warm. It's an easy way for your legs to get some air. And overall, they're just really, really cute and I love them. I like cutouts on dresses and shirts. I just haven't been able to find one that I like yet. But I do think it's a nice way to like break up a solid color, especially in a dress. I've seen them all over and I do think they're very, very cute and I will be on the lookout. I think that might be a little bit unpractical because of where some of the cutouts are. You might have a slip up, but I think they are cute. Next is fringe and I want to like fringe, but I feel like it's hard not to look like a country music star when you wear it. So honestly, my opinion is mixed. I do think it's cute. I'm not personally going to be going and looking for it, but if a piece that I like happens to have fringe on it, I'm gonna get it. I don't hate it, I just don't love it. Cat suits are a no from me. I see Kim Kardashian wear them all the time, but I just feel like they're a more complicated version of a jumpsuit. Jumpsuits are already hard enough to deal with as it is and imagining it like skin tight sounds like a disaster waiting to happen. I will be passing, but I think when other people wear them, they look good in them. Next we have minimalism and monochromatic outfits and I do love a monochromatic outfit. I just don't have a lot of minimalistic pieces. I feel like that's a type of style that would fit more with like streetwear and I do think it's very nice and sophisticated. I just don't personally wear it a lot. So a yes for the monochrome and a you do you for the minimalism. I have seen hot pink and like pink everything everywhere and I love it. I did go through a pick me girl phase, but I have embraced my feminine side and I love pink now. I think it ties in with the Y2K style and I think it's so cute. I feel like other people are not as on board with the accessorized leggings trend as I am, but I adore them. I think they're perfect to put under a mini skirt or a micro skirt and I think it just levels up the outfit. Unfortunately, I have not been able to find a pair. So if you know of any stores that sell them, leave them in the comments down below because I really do want a pair. Ballet core being a trend in 2022 was not something that I expected and I don't think I'll be participating in it but I think it is cute and it does look comfortable. I'm not saying no forever. I might dip my toe in it and maybe I'll love it. I do love matching sets though. I think they're super easy to make an outfit out of because everything already matches. You don't really have to put much thought into it. I think wearing a matching set makes you look put together and it looks like you've really put a lot of thought into your outfit. I own a few matching sets and I love them so I definitely will be participating in this trend. I love opera gloves almost as much as I love accessorized leggings. I think Olivia Rodrigo and Kim Kardashian are wearing them a lot and so I feel like that's making them more trendy. Sure, they're probably not the most practical for everyday life, but I think they're perfect to dress up an outfit. And I think if you choose a colored option, it could be so cute for the spring and summer. I love small shoulder bags. This is a trend that I am actively participating in and I have like a collection of small unique shoulder bags and I love them so so much. Small shoulder bags are a part of the Y2K style and I like that so it makes sense that I'd like the bags. I have so many and honestly when I go out in a more like boring or simple outfit I throw in a fun shoulder bag and suddenly it just leveled up the outfit so Huge yes from me, I love small shoulder bags. Obviously my opinion is not the only opinion, so if you have thoughts on any of the trends I mentioned or any trends that I may have forgotten, leave them in the comments down below so we can chat. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, I'd appreciate if you gave it a like and subscribed. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.